Hi, my name is Eric and today I'm going to talk about the fundamentals of harder in athletics. I am going to talk about what is the harder race, the historical evolution, about the basic regulation and finally the technical. So we are going to start. What is the harder race? It is a speed competition that takes place along a racetrack. Also, the athletes incorporate a series of obstacles that are known as fences, which must be jumped and avoid throwing or touching them as much as possible. Now we are going to pass to the historical evolution. Its history was born at the University of Oxford, when in 1850 they organized a race where they had to overcome 10 hurdles. Then, in 1880, France adjusted the distance of the Harley to 110 meters, facing the characteristic of the race. It has been practiced in the Olympic Games since its first edition held in Athens in 1896. The women have 100 hurdles from Munich 1972 and the 4 meter hurdles from Los Angeles 1984. Now, I'm going to talk about the basic regulation. As you can see, there is a small table that uh, explains uh, two different competitions in men and women. In men, we have 110 meter and 400 meter, and in women, we have 100 meter and 400 meter. And then you can see the uh, difference this one between the height of the fence, the distance between the departure and the first the distance between the fence and the distance between the last and arrival. Also, the race are done in individual lines and the participant remains in the line from start to finish. When a competition draws his foot or leg below the horizontal plane of the top of a fence at the time passing it, or if he knocks down delivery any fence with the hand or foot, will be disqualified. Now. I am going to talk about the technical decryption. This point has four parts. The first of all is the attack leg. The running begins the attack at the distance of approximately 2 meters above the fence. When the hip approaches to stand on the top of the fences, the attack leg makes a sudden movement looking for the ground surrounding the fence. The second part is the step leg. The step leg performs a lateral movement of elevation of the thick by raising and opening the knee outwards, the hip, the knee and the ankle from horizontal planes parallel to the ground. The third part are the arms and trunk. The arm opposite the attack leg is forward in an attempt to touch the tip of the foot. The other arm remains glued to the side. The trunk is slow forward. And finally, the intermediate step. Between the fence and the fence, four supports are made. The last one before passing the fence is done away from it. The running technical is similar to that of a smooth test. And um, this is all about the fundamentals of the hurdles in athletics.